I do know that he started, he was doing drawings at school, very technical, detailed drawings at school, and then he went into the railway world and he had a meteoric rise through to being appointed the first chief mechanical engineer of the LNER on the grouping of five other railways. And he stayed in that job from an early age right up to when he died in 1941. So now, um, Mallard came out of the works at Doncaster in the same month as I was born in 1938. All I can say is looking at that, that uh, Mallard looks a lot better than I do at 75. <laughs> I know quite a bit about him because um, he died when I was three and a half, so obviously I don't know much as an adult would think. But his wife died 12 years before he did, and he grieved enormously for her. It was a great loss in his life. But my mother, who was his eldest daughter, stepped in as social secretary and business companion and so on. And so she knew a terrific lot about him. He was very, she knew him very intimately and told us, her children, all about him, which was brilliant. So we feel we know him from what she has told us. I think it's great to see all these beautiful locomotives so beautifully kept by the NRM and the two from across the Atlantic who have been restored back to their former glory. I think it's great.